Hey, 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 welcome back to the channel. It's your man Prime Time, and you already know you on Prime Time Talk TV. And yeah, I'm back at you with another good video. And you already know the routine once you enter my house. Wipe your feet off, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos like these. For prime time to this day. Oh man, let's go ahead and jump on into this video, shall we? Man, oh man, I tell you what, you know, boxing has always been the sport that always got something going on. You just gotta know what to look for and where to look at, you know what I mean? But I'm gonna tell you right now, you know, this Haney and this progress fight is edging out to be something serious, y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all, you know, uh, your boy Regis Progress, you know, he been going out, you know, making some brash remarks and statement about Devin Haney. And the WBC light welterweight champion that is 29, only one loss with 24 KOs, doesn't say the name of the fighter that Haney lost to. But he says that Devin Haney paid to remove a loss on his record when he turned pro in Mexico. Man, man, man. Look, you know, these two guys are headed to fight December the 9th. And I'm telling you right now, people might not be thinking about this fight as of much like they should. You know, as far as the casual fans go, the real hardcore fans, we looking forward to this thing, you know, <laughs> just us and our crew. But, um, you know, the sometimey Fairweather fans, they, you know, they feel some kind of way about Devin Haney, you know? And that's usually because he's not a fan favorite. He's not a uh, actor or a model or, or things of that nature. He ain't, you know, got locked up or shot nobody up or ran nobody over. You know, he, he ain't sold no drugs. He ain't do none of the things that a lot of people in this world are admired for. <laughs> ain't that ironic <laughs> here you're admired for all the dirt you do <laughs> especially if you're in some type of sport or you're an athlete or a rapper and you know we know boxing has always been synonymous with hip-hop take it back to the mike tyson era you know mike tyson was and probably still is the truest ambassador of boxing for hip hop but even though Devin Haney tries to do his best he tries to live like a model citizen he tries not to break no laws and things of that nature he still get flack he still get hated on but then you have people that do the opposite and they are adored they're revered they are <laughs> admired some even call the face of boxing but, you know, it was a time back in the days where you had to be a champion to be the man. You had to have some type of hardware, some type of belt. You had to beat somebody significant to be looked upon as one of the greatest. But now, no, not so much. You can pay for you a couple million followers. You know, a couple hundred dollars, pay that boy over there in India, over there in, in, in Phil Philippines. And, you know, he'll add you about a couple million, you know, followers and, and, and whatnot. But um, when it's all said and done, legacy is going to determine who was the greatest, not social media. As much as you all want to hold on to dear life, to social media being your thing of you know of proof and, and evidence and facts <laughs> it's just gonna be straight smart gut genius real hardcore spiritual facts you know how when somebody tell you something it just don't feel right 
And you, you take it for value for what they're saying, but then sooner or later it comes out and you're like, oh man, they lied to me. I had that feeling. Yeah, well, that's how it is in boxing. You know, when I hear certain fighters say certain things, I can tell when they're lying right off the gate. <laughs> you can too. But a lot of us know once we got in that ship with whoever we're a fan of, you know, we ain't gonna jump off and make ourselves look, you know, crazy, deranged. But, um, you know, a lot of people are, are talking and taking sides of Regis Pro Grace. A lot of people are taking the side of Devin Haney. Not as many as you would think. And that's because of the Lomachenko debacle that happened not too long ago. You know, Devin Haney won, beat Lomachenko. But a lot of people that watch the fight feel as though old Lomachenko should have won. Just because he was swinging more. Even though a lot of his punches didn't land, because he was swinging more, people feel as though he should have won. Even though Lomachenko's face was marked up, scarred up, bruised up more than Devin Haney, they feel as though Lomachenko won. Well, at this point in my juncture in life, I'm glad the judges got it right this time. <laughs> you know, I've seen many a times where the judges do not get it right remotely. You know, they give the underdog the fight over the champion when the champion and the underdog really went neck and neck. You don't supposed to give uh, a challenger the championship if he went neck and neck with the champion. You got to beat the man to be the man. And you got to beat the champion convincingly. And you don't see that a lot of times in boxing. You'll see where the judges are swayed, paid, delayed, whatever you want to call it. You know, they'll throw that extra little point over there to the underdog and let him win and upset everybody. Hmm. Yeah, everybody except for the bookies, that is. <laughs> so, you know, it is what it is. But I'm going to tell you like this, you know. Regis Pro Grace, Devin Haney made a comment. <laughs> and I ain't gonna lie, it's the realest thing he said since y'all been on this journey. And he said, while you on that couch doing all them interviews, he out there getting that championship training. Mm. Now, you know, my thing is, is that I hope both fighters come correctly. I hope don't nobody overtrain. I hope. Devin Haney do everything he needs to do the right way. I hope he, um, you know, gains the weight, loses the weight, and comes in at 140 perfectly because we've seen him struggling at 135. So hopefully this five extra pounds will make a bigger difference and adjustment with him being able to perform at a higher level this time. And, you know, Regis Prograce, he basically gave an interview saying, like, shoot, he, he laid a trap. He was like... Shoot, he couldn't keep performing good. He was like, because it's hard to get fights. But ever since he had his lackluster performances, his two lackluster performances, you know, now everybody want to fight. So that's how it goes a lot of time. But I'm going to tell you like this. Progress still with Derrick James. Mm, it's going to be a beast of a fight. But Devin Haney is going to have to go back to the Devin Haney that we all know and love from the beginning. And that's that jab master. That's that working behind that jab, creating that distance, setting up his punches, setting those traps. <laughs> so we're going to see what it's going to be. And we know how progress is. He's he going to come in and bang for war. You know, he said he is a fighter first. So if he goes in and fights and throws caution to the wind, then maybe he has a chance. But if he allows Devin the Dream Haney to sit back and work his jab and pick his shots, then it's going to be a unanimous decision to Devin Haney. Now, I will give a split decision to Regis Prograce if he goes in and fights like he's supposed to fight. Um, because I see both of these guys really not knocking each other out. Um, but, you know, you never know in the sport of box. You know, somebody could get an easy TKO, a standard eight count, you know. Uh, somebody could go down with a body blow. 
You know, this is Devin Haney's first shot at 140 at a championship. So, you know, he could be a two-division champion. Um, You know, we, we'll see, you know. We'll see how this all pans out, how it all goes. Um, I will say this much. You know, Devin Haney and his father have really, really maximized everything and you know i think they're developing Devin haney the right way you rarely see fighters get involved with hard fights tough fights or questionable fights early on in their career and Devin haney you know what i'm saying he ain't even you know he's he 24 years old so you know it, it's, it's crazy for him to be that young and have accomplished so much accomplished more than javante tank davis that's actually 28 years old you know, accomplished more than Shakur Stevenson that's 26 years old. So you get where I'm going with this? You know, y'all picking him apart and, and picking on him and nagging, but y'all don't understand how young he is compared to all of the other fighters that y'all put above him. And that is a disservice to yourself. That makes you look like you don't know what you're talking about. You know, you got to put it all in proper perspective as far as the age <laughs> and the weight, <laughs> uh, you know, but hey, it is what it is. Everybody got their own opinion. Just don't mean it's right. So anyway, with that being said, that's all I got for this video. You already know the routine when you leave my house. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos here on Pride Top Talk TV and I'm on social media everywhere. Definitely go to the website, PrideTopTalkTV.com and copy some merch. All right, y'all. Peace, love, I'm out. Till next time.